What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, simply welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you what you shouldn't ask a vendor without doing this first. A huge crucial step in starting a conversation and negotiating with vendors at a card show. I already covered my do's and don'ts in a couple videos a few weeks ago. However, I still experience this at card shows and it's kind of frustrating and annoying. So I wanted to bring it to light here in this video. Now I was at a show a couple, uh, a couple days ago and I like to ask everyone, hey, how's it going? What are you looking for? How's the show? That's just the simple mannerisms that I bring to the table, literally and figuratively funny. <laughs> but I asked this kid, 13, 14, 15 years old, hey bud, how's it going? And now you know when you say what to when someone asks you something or talks to you, but you like pause and then your brain clicks and responds to it. You go like, what? Oh yeah, da 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 da. Well, the kid like paused. Uh, are you buying? And I was like, dude, I just asked you how you're doing. And the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, am I buying? Like you can at least have a conversation with me first. So no, I'm not buying. And it's just something that's really, really frustrating as a vendor. Even here at the shop, it's, I also experience this. People walk in the door, hey, how's it going? And the first thing that they say is, are you buying? It's like, ugh, man. And I, yes, of course I'm buying, but from a show perspective, as a vendor perspective, I'm set up to, yes, buy, sell, and trade. But I'm also there trying to sell, and I'm also there to try to trade, make connections, market, branch out, all that good stuff from a business point of view. Now, if I was just buying at a show, then I would be walking around that show as a customer, as a guest, just like the person asking me if I'm buying. It's just kind of common sense to have a conversation, get to know the other person, and then ask, hey, you looking to, to make any deals? You know, maybe ask if they're trading first. Like, are you looking to trade, buy, or are you just trying to sell? Like, there's so many different polite ways to approach it, and people are just skipping right to the point. And I know some shows can be bigger, and there's a lot of tables to get to, and a lot of other vendors may have signs that say, are you buying? But it's just common courtesy to not just jump to, are you buying? Like, why should I buy from you? What cards do I think you may have that I'm going to want? I have no idea because I don't know you. Me, personally, in this hobby, I've really kind of geared towards doing deals with people that have either supported the shop, supported me, or that I've really gone to know and gone close to in this space. Like, I'm not just gonna go buy from some random Joe Schmo. I mean, if the deal is good and he has the cards that I want, then sure. But again, I'm set up as a vendor and I'm trying to sell, trade, and of course buy. But if I was just buying, then I'd be walking the floor just like you. So vendors spend money to set up at these shows, again, to sell, buy, trade, all that good stuff. And people, and, and of course that I'm included in that. And when people, kids, adults, whoever, are you buying like, hey, yeah, the shop's going great. Yeah, I'm located in Rhode Island. You should come check it out sometime. Yeah, you know, having fun today at the show. It, it was a good ride up. Just this, again, I mean, maybe it's, you know, how I was raised and how I was brought up. Shout out to my mom, Mama Murphy, for raising me with, in the in the best way she possibly could. It just feels common sense to have conversations first, get to know the other person. And I've talked about this in other videos before. So if I had to keep making videos about this, it's a little... Uh, underwhelming to do so but I kind of understand why because not everyone uh, has the manners in their back pocket like other people do so I just want to make a quick video about that and again don't ask a vendor if they're buying without starting a conversation first I just simple mannerisms simple friendliness and simple politeness goes a long way if I don't know who you are why should I buy from you but hey, maybe I'm starting to get to know you a little bit. I like your journey. I like some cards you have. Oh, that's really cool that your dad got you into collecting. Or your brothers. Okay, yeah, sure. Let me help you out. Again, it, it, it builds up. And it gives you a better chance. Like, don't just sit there sarcastically say, Hey, how's it going? Are you buying? Because I know there's going to be trolls that, that are going to try to do that. And there's trolls that still do. Hi, are you buying? Let's, let's be a better community. Let's be a better hobby. Um, manners, politeness, friendliness, 
still exist in today's society and they go a long way at shows, at shops, wherever you may be buying, selling, and trading. So hopefully you got a thing or two from this video, guys. I really do appreciate you joining me for this video. If you enjoyed this video, I've queued up an excellent video right here that I do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors. Hopefully, I'll see you in that one.